What is up guys, Joe here back with another video and today we'll be talking about jailbreaking but specifically unjailbreaking. So removing a jailbreak from your iOS device. Now this is a common question that I get on a daily basis and that's how do I remove Cydia or how do I unjailbreak or how do I restore and all these different types of questions basically asking how to unjailbreak. And with this new Cydia tweak called Cydia Impactor developed by Suric, it will allow you to unjailbreak your device in a very easy manner. Now simply what this does, it allows you to restore your iOS device to a stock setup without having to restore or update to the latest firmware because sometimes that latest firmware is not compatible with a jailbreak. So basically it allows you to remove your jailbreak but still be on the same firmware. So later down the road, if you still want a jailbreak, you can go ahead and do so. So before we do begin, there are a couple things to take note of and that is that Cydia Impactor is compatible with iOS 8.4 and 8.3 at the moment. So if you are running a jailbreak on iOS 8.3 or 8.4, you'll be able to use this to go ahead and remove Cydia from your iOS device. Now this does work on all iPhones, iPads, and iPod Touch, except for the iPod Touch 6th generation, which is one of the newest releases from Apple. Also, it is gonna be a beta at the moment, but I have tested this out and it works just fine. So feel free to go ahead and do this if you are on a jailbroken iOS 8.3 or 8.4 device. So simply go ahead and open up Cydia and then go into Cydia Impactor and then install that package. Now after you go ahead and install it, go ahead and be sure to back up all of your data in iTunes or iCloud because this will restore your device. So everything that you currently have, including text messages, photos, everything like that will get wiped out because we're gonna revert back to stock iOS. So definitely be sure to back up your device via iTunes or through iCloud. After that, go ahead and plug in your device and make sure it is up to at least 50% of a battery charge. Now we'll go ahead and launch Cydia Impactor, which will look something like this. Now here's just basically gonna display everything we already discussed, but if you do notice, it does say the device needs to be connected to the internet. I am currently connected to Wi-Fi. Now I do believe that's just gonna be after the whole process is done because we will need to set up our device just like new uh, because it is gonna go through the activation method. Now below that it does say iOS will require you to reactivate the device after you reboot. So this may require a SIM card or your iCloud password. So be sure to have a SIM card already in there and also remember your iCloud password because it's gonna have to activate that. So you will have to type in your Apple ID and password. Now once you're ready, go ahead and tap on delete all data and unjailbreak device. This process will take a couple of minutes depending on how much data you had on your device. It took me a few minutes, but like I said, depending on how much data you have on your device, it may take several minutes. Now this is gonna be great for those of you who want to sell your iOS device and want to keep that jailbreak state because if you go ahead and unjailbreak the old fashioned way of restoring and everything, most of the time you have to update to the newest firmware, which is more than likely not able to be jailbroken. So with this method, it's simply gonna allow you to restore your device to the current firmware you're on. So that way, if you do sell your iOS device, you can sell it and they'll still be able to jailbreak it because it's still on the same firmware. Now I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up real quick, but once it's done, it will go ahead and reboot and then you'll get the startup screen and it's gonna be like a brand new device and you'll simply go ahead and set it up and it will ask you to activate it. So be sure to know your iCloud information. That way you can go ahead and activate it and then bypass that screen. And once you're done, we have our stock iOS without Cydia. So that's pretty much it. It's very simple to do and that's how you unjailbreak your device. Now, if you do wanna go ahead and re-jailbreak, you will be able to use the same jailbreak tools that you used before to jailbreak in the first place. Now, I do have videos covering how to jailbreak iOS 8.4 on Windows and Mac. I'll be sure to leave those linked down below in the description, so that way you can go ahead and jailbreak once again whenever you want to. Other than that, guys, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this video. If you did find this video helpful, please let me know by hitting that like button. I decided to make this video because I thought it would be helpful for a lot of you guys because I get that question asked so many times. So this is the simplest way that you can go if you want to unjailbreak your device. But yeah, let me know by hitting that like button if you did enjoy it. And if you're not yet following me on social media yet, like Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, or Instagram, 
All of my links are down below in the description. Very active on Twitter and Instagram, so be sure to follow me on those. And if you feel like being awesome, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you'll be notified when I come out with all of my latest videos, including jailbreak reviews and all that good stuff. Anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching and uh, catch you all on the next one. All right. Peace.